President uh, Zelensky has boasted uh, about the capture of 500 square miles in Kursk. Uh, Andy has boasted that this has produced an exchange of prisoners because he's captured uh, Russian prisoners. Are, are either of these uh, boasts of any military significance or is Kursk just a pimple? Well, uh, if you if you want an analogy, uh, you're from New Jersey. Uh, you know the Pine Barrens in New Jersey, correct? Yes. Well, the Pine Barrens, for the audience, this is a desolate area of, you know, hundreds of square miles of woods. Getting in there and coming out again is a challenge in and of itself. There aren't very many roads. The roads that go through there are blacktop, and they go from Philadelphia to Atlantic City or north or something. Uh, this is like uh, you or I getting into a Jeep, driving into the Pine Barrens, and then announcing to the world that we've conquered the Pine Barrens. Right. That's that's the uh, the the oblast of uh, Kursk is just endless dense forests, swamps, woods. The only uh, thing hills. of significance that I know of in the in the Pinelands, and you may have been there, is Fort Dix. That's about yes. it. <laughs> yeah. Fort Lost in the Pine Barrens. Yeah, right, absolutely. Right. All no, right. So, uh, there's, so there's the real estate. There. The real estate isn't worth much, and and the PR advantage to this even though Zelensky keeps pushing, it seems to have faded because other events have come to the top of the fold. Well, the only thing he achieved was to take some of the best forces he had left with the best equipment he had at his disposal to essentially uh, launch a, a PR stunt. Most of those troops are either killed or wounded. They're trying desperately to get back to uh, Ukraine, but they're caught. Uh, they're in little pockets of perhaps two or 3,000 each along the main highway that, that goes to Kursk. Th this thing is a disaster for Ukraine. It was entirely ill-advised. I've heard uh, it called the uh, Cavoli plan. Uh, mm. I hope that's not true because if General Cavoli is responsible for this, that reinforces my low opinion of the senior leadership in the U.S. military. No one in their right mind would have sent these Ukrainians on that wild goose chase. And remember, Elsewhere, things are falling apart, and the Russians continue to advance. The only thing holding the Russians back, in my judgment right now, is President Putin. 